Why does a van make such a great overlanding or travel vehicle? Because you can do this. In this video, I'm going to give you many reasons why I think a van makes an awesome overlanding vehicle. Vehicle, overlanding vehicle, because you can turn these front four seats, rotate them around, and have actually two additional seats, a passenger seat and the driver's seat here. To rotate around, you have now a quorum for four people with my bench seat. Play games, eat, whatever, be out of the weather. It doesn't matter what the weather is. You're going, you're there, right? You can walk right from the back, from the front to the back, or vice versa. All staying inside, never have to open up a door. So if weather's really bad or whatever, unsafe place, you can do that, you can camp. Here's another reason. You're driving, it's late, it's dark, it's cold outside. Maybe it's even snowy. You need to pull over and go to sleep, right? You're in the driver's seat. You pull into a safe place to park, you park. You take the key out of the ignition. You walk to the bed and you're in bed. That is it. There's no stepping outside where it's unsafe, where it's cold, where you're basically telling everybody in this rest stop or in this Walmart parking lot that I'm going to bed. I'm crawling around into my rooftop tent or into my camper in the back. And now you're back in that camper or up in that tent. No, I just walk right to the back. They, no one knows where I am or what I'm doing. I'm right in the back in seconds. And I am in a nice warm bed because that bed's inside the same vehicle I've been driving in, so it's warm or cold, the same whatever comfortable temperature I took that vehicle to, to for comfortable temperature for driving. Now that bed's also the same temperature. So I'm totally safe inside from the weather, from the elements, from people, you know, issues outside, and all in a matter of a few seconds. Same get out of bed, you're ready to go, you basically got a bed, you brush your teeth, you have your breakfast, you put your clothes on, whatever, you, you step into the driver's seat and you drive away. And so if you need a driveway in a hurry, you can drive away in a hurry. If you need to, you know, not step outside because of whatever, again, weather issues, whatever, you're on your way. It makes for really great stealth camping, um, awesome in bad weather. So people, you know, when you have a van, there's really no limit to when you go. It doesn't really matter what the weather is. This is four-wheel drive. It's four-wheel drive at low range. I'm fully insulated. It's nice and warm. It's one of the reasons what makes a van a great camping vehicle, overlanding vehicle, because you can go anytime. And because you're fully self-contained, I can carry everything I need with 40 gallons of water, with a seven cubic foot refrigerator, seven cubic feet of refrigerator and freezer. It's enormous, right? And can go for a long time. All of my kitchen is here. It's always packed up, always ready to go. When I want to go for a trip, it's 15 minutes at most to grab whatever food and clothes I want, and I'm out the door. I did that a while back because of forest fires, and I was gone, and it packed up in an hour, and I was gone for a month, okay? A month of traveling. I stopped at grocery stores twice to pick up a few oranges, a couple tomatoes, and some other vegetable or fruit, and that was it. The whole entire time I was gone. I did stop at some friends and refill my water tanks with water. I probably didn't need to, but I did just to make sure that they were full and I had plenty of water for the remainder of the trip. Um, but I didn't have to plug into shore power or you know some RV lot or stock up with food or add more clothes or whatever. One hour to pack and go for a month. All right, that is what a van entails because everything's already always ready to go. Now, Grant, you can get this out of a truck camper. You can get the same thing out of a out of a, a vehicle with a rooftop tent or uh, you know almost anything else. You can set it up that way to do that. And let me tell you, that is a huge benefit to having it set up that way. It, it, it's certainly doable in a lot of other vehicles. One of the benefits the van provides is because it's insulated and stuff. You're always in a warm, comfortable, or cool environment um, and you always have all your gear with you um, because I can carry really up to six bikes inside plus multiple paddle boards inflatable paddle boards or full uh, not you know non inflatables on the roof or kayaks on the roof because I can carry up to six bikes inside I'm ready for almost any adventure. Now you might say six bikes, why, does, why do you need six bikes? Well me and one other person maybe we each have three bikes a mountain bike a gravel bike and a road bike. Now we're always ready we hit a really cool spot 
throw on the running trails and go for a trail run or a hike. You hit a really cool trail, pull out the mountain bike and let's go for a mountain bike ride. You hit, you want to, you hit a cool spot and you want to just go bike around town, right? Because it's a little too far to walk pull out your city bike and just go bike around town. The bikes are inside so people don't see it. They don't know they're there. They're not out in the weather getting rusted. That was a, one of the things I learned on one of my very first long distance overlanding trips is when bikes are on the roof rack, they get rusted and I was always worried about them getting stolen or something happened to them when it's parked in a city environment or whacking them with a tree branch when on a on a really you know tight trail here at the bikes inside they're out of the weather they're not going to get hit by a tree branch they're they're staying clean all the time they're always looped up ready to go uh and and they're not in the eyes of somebody who might want to take them or do something to them so I'm always at the ready. And that's one of the big benefits of a van over other vehicles is you get that gear inside, not sitting outside, not where everybody can mess with it, where you're always worried about it, always keep it locked up, where it's gonna get rusted, or you're worried about getting stolen, whatever else. Uh, that That's a massive benefit to a van over other vehicles. Now that can be done in a camper, and I'm gonna share more with you in a future video about how I'm gonna do that in my next camper. The bottom line is, these are some of the reasons what make a van a great overlanding and travel vehicle. Another reason why van makes a great overlanding vehicle or travel vehicle and camper is because you have a phenomenal view. Alright, so check this out. I mean you have this big expansive view from the driver's seat and check out that hood. <laughs> There's like hardly a hood there in the way and so climbing up a steep hill, climbing a you know crest a steep hill Descending a, a big hill, you just don't have this big hood in your way. It, it slopes way down, it's short, and so it's out of your vision when you're off-roading and other people are stopping because they can't see the rocks or the crest of the hill that the, you're going up and over. And in a van, you can see it all. So that's another reason why. And you also get this fantastic big view. I mean, look at this. It's like, it's just like expansive, right? So that is definitely another good reason why a van or similar vehicle makes for a great overlanding vehicle. They don't have a big hood sticking out there, blocking your view and keeping you from being able to, you know, pull as close forward to something. While at a stoplight, not that I recommend doing that, make sure you leave it in park or put it in your park and put your parking gear on if you are gonna do that and make sure you do it very quickly. But you can walk to the back. You can quickly open the fridge. You can grab a snack and you can walk right back up to the front. And voila, the light turns green, you have it in gear, you drive away. Super easy, wonderful, right? Okay, so let's now say, same thing can happen with the passenger seat. I have it rotated around right now, right? But let's say that your, your spouse, um, your co-parent, your friend, whatever, something you need to get something from the back they can just simply walk right to the back and get it you know whenever it's safe to do that you don't have to stop the vehicle or get outside when it's cold and rainy you can do everything right from inside the van so whatever the weather's like outside or situation get right out here's another reason why you've got these great swiveling seats right so both these front seats on my van, these are the factory Mercedes factory swivel seats. Both these rotate around 180 degrees like this one is right here. So now all of a sudden I can put my feet up right here. I can sit back, I can relax. I've gained now a third seat to the two bench seats and also four seat with the driver's seat here. That's pretty fantastic. I hope you enjoyed this video and in future videos, I'm gonna go over some of the different vehicles that I've been test driving and trying out for my next expedition camper. Stay tuned.